Y'all listen. Please forgive the background. There is a bunch of kids out playing in the neighborhood. Um, actually enjoying. Very, very important. Now, I don't know if anybody else is heavily into politics. I'm not. Okay, but when I see something that concerns me, I definitely jump on it. So, this was in May. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to read it to you and let you just hear the full thing. And you can see by the title what I'm talking about. In May, Former president traveled to Wisconsin, a battleground state crucial to his 2016 win and 2020 loss. The stakes are high. He made a few big promises to match. We're going to give our police their power back. And we are going to give them immunity from prosecution. There are a few problems. As president, Trump would be constrained in immunizing anybody, including police, from prosecution as most proceedings are in state court where his power wouldn't apply. And while it's true that some officers are charged federally where he could lobby the Department of Justice to refuse the charge to charge any cop, their prosecutions are often in addition to state charges. Take, I even, I don't like saying his name. I'll just say this. Take him, who was convicted in a Minnesota court of murdering George Floyd. George Floyd. George Floyd. Y'all, say my name. Say his name with me. George Floyd. After that trial, he pleaded guilty to federal charges. A president, a president Trump could certainly pardon him for that, but it would make no material difference in the time he spends in prison. As his sentence was 22.5 years and his federal sentence was 21 years, are running co-concurrently. But despite the legal illiteracy of Trump's promise, it's worth considering the implication that those with the most power should be held to the lowest standard. Trump made clear in office that he'd fight legislation hamstringing qualified immunity, the legal doctrine that bans victims from suing state and local governments <clears throat> employees if the way in which those employees allegedly violated the law has not been clearly established as unconstitutional in prior case laws. It is why, for example, two California men could not sue officers who allegedly stole more than $225,000 from them during the execution of a search warrant as there was no previous court ruling that said stealing under certain under such circumstances is illegal federal police on the other hand are essentially protected by absolute immunity a common objection to qualified immunity reform is that cops will be bankrupted by lawsuits without it but a study conducted by UCLA law professor found that governments or their insurance companies, not the cops themselves, paid 99.98% of the damages awarded to plaintiffs. All right, so I'm just going to skip through this a little bit because some of this is not important. But one thing is clear, Trump would like to see law enforcement held to a lesser standard than the public that they serve. The former president has arguably never been a tried and true conservative, but he does need to court them. 
it is difficult to make a conservative case for ensuring that those who enforce the law are also above it. But y'all, listen. And I'm just going to show you that it is, this is true. I'm not like, you know, making this up or anything like that. It is true. Um, it says Donald Trump pleaded to give cops immunity from prosecution. The idea is both legally illiterate and dangerous. Listen, y'all. Cops, police officers, not all, get away with a lot of things. A lot. Some of them. Some of them already think that they're above the law. Some of them already think that they cannot be touched. If you take that badge off, who are you? You're a human just like me, right? But you put that badge on and you think it's like this this big shield that you can't be touched. So basically, you could do whatever you want to people and you'll win. And the fact is, is that they have body cams now does not ju no justice because it would be inadmissible court and this 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 and they will wiggle some way around you winning and not them now granted there has been some cases that they lost but I seen a I seen a post let me pull this up real quick for y'all because it it really it really upset me it wasn't even the fact that they were people of color it was the fact that these people and their families had to endure all of this pain and nothing was done about it. 90% of it, but nothing was done about it. Um, let me see. I don't even know if I can find it now. This person posted it, but I don't remember when it was. I was just kind of scrolling through. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I posted it on my page. Let me see. Because I did it. It was a whole list of people. Um, that still have justice to be served for them. Um, okay, here it is. And I'm actually... I'm going to try to read as many as I can because there is like 101 of them. So I'm going to try to do as fast as I can. Alright. Sonia Massey, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. George Floyd, I can't breathe. Eric Garner, I can't breathe. Michael Brown, I don't have a gun, stop shooting. Philando Castell, I wasn't reaching for it. Brianna Taylor, why did you shoot me? Freddie Gray, I need a doctor. Tamir Rice, it's not real. Oscar Grant, you shot me. I got a four-year-old daughter. Laquan McDonald, no audible last words, shot while walking away. Elijah McLean, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. I'm just different, I'm just different, that's all. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, I have no gun. I don't do that stuff. I don't do any fighting. Why are you attacking me? Alton Sterling, what did I do? Walter Scott, I'm just going home. Botham Jean, why did you shoot me? Stephen Clark, Grandma, call the police. Tatiana Jefferson, I'm here. Sandra Bland, why am I being apprehended? Tony Dade, I'm not armed. Daniel Prude, give me your gun, I need it. 
John Crawford III. It's not real. Manuel Ellis. I can't breathe, sir. Amadou Diallo. Mom, I'm going to college. Ayana Stanley Jones. She was shot while sleeping. Terrence Crutcher. I'm not doing anything. Sean Bell. Shot multiple times. John Jonathan Farrell. Shot while seeking help after a car crash. Izell Ford. It's me. It's me. John Crawford III. It's not real. Renisha McBride. Shot while seeking help after a car accident. Kenneth Chamberlain Sr. <clears throat> Why are you doing this to me? Samir Rice again. It's not real. Eric Harris. I'm losing my breath. Jamar Clark. Please don't let me die. Rashard Brooks. I don't want to hurt you. Alfred Alango. <clears throat> Please don't shoot me. Chantel Davis. What did I do? Kendra James. Please don't kill me. Akea Gurley. Shot in a dark stairwell. Miriam Carey. Shot in her car. Timothy Russell. Shot during a car chase. Melissa Williams. Shot during a car chase. Jordan Edwards. Shot while leaving a party. Yvette Smith. I'm coming out. Jordan Davis. Shot at a gas station. Victor White III. Died in police custody. Dontre Ham Hamilton. Shot in a park. Eric Reason. Shot during a dispute. Emantic E.J. Bradford Jr. Shot in a mall. Oscar Grant. You shot me. I got a four-year-old daughter. We already heard that one, yes. Clinton Allen. Shot during an encounter. Rennell Foster. Shot during a foot chase. Tony Robinson. Shot during an altercation. Charlie Kuneg. Shot during an altercation. Samuel DeBose. I didn't even do nothing. Quintontino Legreer, I'm sorry. Betty Jones, I've been shot. India Carger, shot in a car. Keith Lamont Scott, don't shoot him, he has no weapon. Jordan Baker, shot during a confrontation. Christian Taylor, shot during a confrontation. Michael Dean, shot during a traffic stop. Remain Brisbane shot during an altercation. Gregory Gunn, shot during an encounter. Yvette Henderson, shot during a confrontation. David Joseph, shot during a confrontation. Calvin Reed, died in police custody. Antonio Zambrano Montez, shot during an encounter. Zachary Hand Hammond, why did you shoot me? Anthony Hill, shot while naked and unarmed. Shahid Vassell, shot while holding a metal pipe. Willie McCoy, shot while sleeping in a car. I remember that one. Robert White, shot during an altercation. Michael Lorenzo Dean, shot during a traffic stop. Monique Tillman, I didn't do anything wrong. Randy Evans, died in police custody. Vernell Bing Jr. shot during a car chase. Cameron Massey shot during an altercation. DeAndre Ballard shot during a confrontation. Maurice Gordon, can you let me out? Rashad Brooks, I don't want to hurt you. Perry L L Louie shot during a foot chase. Deborah Danner, I'm not feeling well. Jason Harrison, I'm sick. Corey Jones, hold on, wait. Keith Childress, don't shoot. Justine Hammonds, shot after calling 911. Milikar Perez Lopez, shot during an altercation. Mario Woods, I'm not going to shoot you. William Chapman Jr., don't shoot me. Chad Robertson, shot while running away. Charlie Willie Kunzelman, shot during a confrontation. Terrence Sterling, shot during a traffic stop. Saville Smith, why are you harassing me? Bruce Kelly Jr., shot during an altercation. 
Corin Gaines shot during a standoff. Maurice Granton Jr. shot during a foot chase. Paul O'Neill shot during a, char char a car chase. Antoine Rose the second. Why are they shooting? Patrick Harmon, I'll go with you. Aaron Bailey, why did you shoot me? Miles Hall, no, don't do it. Listen, y'all, 101 people that I just named had to die at the arms of untrained, unprofessional police officers. It has to stop. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what nationality, what race. I don't care. They are not above anybody. And I'm not saying that people do no wrong. I'm just I'm saying that there is people that do not know to shut up. To not talk back to not entice them to do anything but there is ones that lost their lives because the police just felt they were better and it's not right it really is not right the police are just like us the police are no better they are not above us in any way possible and yet we fear them we fear them. But y'all, this was no, in no way this was bashing any police officers. I absolutely, like, I, I respect law enforcement, okay, in a whole, in general. I just don't respect the ones that take it above that and think that they could say and do whatever they want. And we have to bow down because we have rights to. Okay, so like I said, this in no way is speaking down on any law enforcement in general. This was basically just a video about Trump and what he said. Okay, I need you guys to give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Also, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video.